What if the person you thought you knew, you really didn't know at all? Um, ever since I was little, life has been a roller coaster. Um, my mom had me when she was 16 years old, which caused her to have a lot of trouble throughout high school. Um, my dad, when they were younger, got in a lot of trouble with the law. He was selling drugs, um, which got him in trouble with the cops. So him and basically my whole dad's family moved to Virginia when I was about five years old. So. As long as I can remember, it was me and my mom. Um, and having my dad not there caused a lot of um, unfinancial stability, which made me and my mom struggle a lot with money. I, from the when I, when I was from about like six years old to eleven, um, I lived in like seven different apartment buildings. Being little and not having a dad there really hit me hard as a kid. Like in elementary school and middle school, not having a dad to go to your basketball games and go to everything really like, affected me a lot. Um, my mom ended up getting a good job for a while, and around that time, she started talking to an old friend. So. Due to his circumstances, my mom took him in. Around the time I was uh, 11 to 12 years old, I got a call from my dad, who had basically abandoned me my whole childhood, telling me, he, he called and said that he had had a kid, and that since he had another child, he wanted to make things better with his own. And ever since then, we've had a pretty good relationship. I talked to him more now than I, I think I ever have. My dad was doing very good after everything happened. I thought he had um, turned his life around until last August. He, we found out that he cheated on his new wife. I basically felt like he was doing the same thing to my other little sister who was about three at the time that he did to me, which kind of made me very upset, and I ignored him for about like a three to four month period. Back at home, things weren't really any better. My mom and my stepdad were constantly fighting. I would be in my room late at night on school nights listening to them argue about everything. They'd argue and yell and scream, and I'd just be sitting on my bed listening to them argue constantly. Getting constantly criticized at school for being myself didn't help the depression at all. It made it worse. Not a lot of people know how it feels to go to bed every night hearing screaming and arguing and walls getting punched and having to go to bed just crying yourself to sleep every night because you can't understand why people are doing the things they are. Being emotionally wrecked and feeling as if there was never a father figure to be there in my life, just being completely abandoned. I constantly was praying to God every night to, for some sort of understanding of what was going on in my life. Why I was picked to not have a dad and not have all the things that a lot of other people have. Towards the time all of the arguing was going on, my dad, would, my stepdad would constantly leave during the middle of the night to go do whatever. One day my mom was in the garage cleaning up and she stumbled across pain pills and caps for syringes for needles. Having to deal with knowing that your stepfather was using drugs was 
very heavily at the time. Really, uh, just, I felt like I was doing the same thing over as I was before. My sister who was living at home with me, I felt like there was no help, no, where I could, no place I could go to. We heard him at one point fall over and hit his head on the wall because he had passed out from using whatever drugs he was doing. One day my cousins who lived down the road came over crying, saying that they knew that my stepdad was using cocaine and heavy like, heroin. RSM really helped with dealing with a lot of the stuff. I started going around 8th grade and I was going and started seeing people who had like a lot of the same issues like with their family as I did and who were dealing with like depression and stuff. Um, I saw how much people cared about each other and how you can just be yourself going to just this place where people hung out. We talked about how God helped deal with a lot of the emotional stuff I was going through. RSM was a lot of like an opener for acceptance for me. I saw a lot how people could just come and just be themselves. Like you didn't have to worry about how you acted or how you talked or how you dressed. It just didn't matter. People just honestly cared for each other in a way that I've never seen before. I know after going to RSM and after getting closer to God that I have seen things a lot differently and the way people act and how this we are as people. RSM definitely helped me get closer to God at a time when I really needed it more than ever. I was out of touch with God for a while and I was lucky that I was had the chance to get back in touch with what was most important. So now that me being guided through everything and having to start over, I know that God is going to be on my side this time and I have such a different look on everything. After all the fighting, my mom and stepdad have finally gotten a divorce and it's, I'm basically starting over with my life again. But through all of this and all the screaming and the fighting and the name calling and the drug abuse, I know that God has been and still will be there for me. Through pain, God is not intended to push us away.